The Fall Guy, directed by David Leitch, stars Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt. The film follows stuntman Colt Seavers, who's fresh off an almost career-ending accident, as he has to track down a missing movie star, solve a conspiracy, and try to win back the love of his life while still doing his day job. This is a film I've been really anticipating for this year. I am a fan of a lot of the work that David Leitch does, from his stunt work to his directed films. I really love Bullet Train, so seeing that a lot of those elements would be carried over to the Fall Guy, naturally I was really intrigued to see what they would do with it. I'll get into the performances first, as I feel like it's one of the aspects that really carry this movie. Ryan Gosling is really great here. He just oozes this never-ending aura of charisma despite having moments where you can't help but feel bad for the things that happen to his character. Although throughout it all, he always manages to look cool while doing it. It's great to see him bust out more of his comedic chops. I know he said he's essentially not going to do any more dark roles, or at least any more roles that could be detrimental psychologically, and that's completely understandable, and I feel like it will be a challenge to see him really excel at his comedy side, which is something he suits so well. He was great when he did it in Barbie and fantastic when he did it in The Nice Guys, and it really works for him here in this movie. He's great at balancing the comedy while also being this cool action star, even though his character at the beginning isn't used to this type of lifestyle. But I think that helps bring more life to his character. Emily Blunt was really great too. She was good at being able to convey such a driving passion for filmmaking by showing it through her eyes and the way she delivers her lines about filmmaking making in general is just really inspiring to see. It's also great to see her get her badass moments later in the film where she has a few action scenes. Her and Ryan Gosling have great chemistry on screen together too, despite them doing the shtick of Emily Blunt's character pretending not to like Ryan Gosling's character as much as she actually does, but this doesn't feel overly tropey when they do this, however, it doesn't feel overly realistic either. It's just a standard movie romance and they do it well. Winston Duke was definitely a standout side character, he's given a lot of funny lines and while yes, a lot of other times he's basically just a movie quote machine, there's something endearing to how passionate he is about delivering all of them. He and Ryan Gosling also have good chemistry where they feel like they're really close friends that just connect so easily with each other. I really loved him in this film and I do want to see the guy get more roles, I think he's great. For a few moments he had in the film, I thought Aaron Taylor Johnson was a riot here, he's able to play this asshole type character so well. He breathes this douchebag actor energy greatly, where you can't help but think of other actors in real life that are like this. Hannah Waddingham plays the producer in this movie, and she's really good at playing such an easily hateable character. The way she carries herself with how fake her attitude seems to be is just so well done in terms of getting under your skin. Along with this, it's partially David Leitch, who is able to make the villains in his film so incredibly hateable. So with these two factors working together, it really makes for some grating characters. I like the angle in which this story went, it's so incredibly meta in terms of its commentary on the actual film itself and the film within the film too. They don't have the meta-ness of this movie be overly convoluted, but I feel like there's aspects of it that will go over general audiences' heads, especially people that aren't incredibly well versed in filmmaking as a whole. It'll definitely act as a good outlet for people to learn about these aspects of filmmaking, and I think it'll do big things and cause more discussion on the importance of stunt actors and stunt work as a whole. Since David Leitch started doing stunts before he was directing, this film is a complete and utter love letter to the art of stunt work. The entire credit sequence is behind the scenes footage of all the major stunt work that went into making this film, and I thought this was a really fun aspect to show, which again, I feel and hope will make people appreciate the work of stunts more. I thought the action scenes in this film was really well done. They were all shot really well, and they were always given time to breathe and to show off the choreography, which was also really impressive. On top of this, a lot of the action scenes were really fun to watch. This was one of the aspects I really loved about Bullet Train. A lot of the action set pieces were really fun in that movie too, and while The Fall Guy does have a more tame rating compared to Bullet Train, obviously to appeal to a more broader audience, which I won't completely knock because if they're trying to push this message of appreciating stunt work more, and of course a broader audience has to see a movie like this. I liked a lot of the humor in this film too, I don't think absolutely every joke worked and there was a few cringe lines of dialogue here and there, but I feel like they're definitely tongue-in-cheek in terms of the type of movie this 
this is. It's going for a celebration of the action comedy genre, so of course there's going to be a couple moments of one-liners. You can quickly forgive them when there's better comedic moments throughout the film. The only real negatives I have with this film is something pretty minor. I almost feel bad as it feels like I'm nitpicking here, but I did notice while well, yes, there is moments in the film which is shown through the credits where practical effects are used during the stunts. There was moments when I noticed some dodgy instances of green screen and maybe even some CGI that looked a little jarring if you look too closely at it. And I find that odd when the film has moments of weird looking CGI when the screenplay is really gunning for practical effects and doing everything practical, which makes it seem like it's an advocate for using practical effects, but it seems a little weird when the actual film you're watching itself doesn't go completely practical and has elements in its own film that the characters in said film are making fun of, but maybe this is a part of the meta angle. Overall, I really enjoyed this film. I completely approve of the message of this film and how it's gunning for more love and appreciation for stunt work, stunt performance, stunt performers, and stunt coordinators. Basically, every aspect that goes into stunts, this film really wants its audience to be more aware of their work and how they deserve awards which is another thing I completely agree with. I'm glad a film like this exists. I love films about filmmaking. My favorite film Boogie Nights is literally a film about making movies. I was and still am a big advocate for the movie Babylon which caused Dave Min I was and still am a big advocate for the movie Babylon which caused Dave Min Chazelle to be in director jail but I digress that film is still incredible and this film is incredible too. It's probably David Leach at his best so far and I'm excited to see what he does in the future if his films remain this fun and exciting i'm definitely hyped for more i'm giving the fall guy five stars it's just such a love letter to cinema and the work that goes into creating a piece of cinema all the performances work for what they are it's got great action some pretty good comedy it's got a pretty killer soundtrack on top of that so far it's not doing well at the box office in terms of how much it has to make back which is a bit disheartening to see so i just hope through word of mouth more people will go and support a film like this in the cinema this is me essentially throwing my two cents in hoping someone will see this review and check the film out because i think it's going to be really important for modern cinema at least i hope it will be this is an excellent film and deserves all the praise from anyone who praises it